wrote down your goals, you sat down, you visualized it. Was it quite often? You you actually sit down and close your eyes and just every day. picture every day. Yeah, yeah, very important every day. Really? Do you still do it now, or now that you're happy in life, or um, I? In the beginning, I did it every day, and then I had like a period of time where I didn't do it so much because I had already achieved tremendous success. But then I realized that if I can reach those success levels, then imagine what else is possible. So now my, my goals are high enough to make people think I'm crazy, but I know it's possible and I know that I will reach them. So I am back to visualizing every single day and um, I know that I will reach my goals because I, I have the intention to reach them. When you look at Swissborg, 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 Swissborg is sorti ce matin. They have an app where you can buy crypto. They connect to Binance, HitBTC, LMAX, and Kraken and find the best rates in the market. What I like about Swissborg is that they have an amazing app that can directly buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and also cash out as well. Through Swissborg, all assets will have a fiat gateway. And here is the thing. Premium features gives you zero fee trading. That is zero fee. If you want to buy Bitcoin with fiat, I suggest you buy through Swissborg rather than Coinbase. And if you're interested in trading the likes of Ethereum or Bitcoin, use Swissborg's application. In a fast-moving and confusing crypto asset market, get an edge with Crypto Slate Edge. Enhanced in-depth news coverage and extensive crypto asset and sector data are all part of your exclusive access as a member, helping you understand the market with features such as on-chain metrics and sentiments, all of which allow you to convert knowledge into action with an ad-free experience. As a bonus, access our private Telegram channel to receive live insights whilst engaging with the CryptoSlate community. Subscribe now at CryptoSlate.com forward slash edge. Dear Crypto Community and Blockchain Buddies across the globe, welcome back to Kryptonites, the no BS blockchain channel built with the community and for the community. And welcome to the Dubai Series Edition Crypto Millionaires. We're going to talk about success, about habits, about the mindset to really achieving your dreams. On top of that, some crypto geekiness. And without further ado, for the second time, we have Carl the Moon. Pleasure to have you, brother. Very nice to be here on the show yet again. Yeah, yet again, yet again. So first and foremost, Carl, I think last time there's one regret that I had, which was not asking more about you as a yeah, person, yeah, yeah. you know? You've been extremely successful in this space and you've been supporting the crypto community for a long time, talking about Bitcoin, educating people about Bitcoin, but we don't even know actually who you are. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I grew up in Sweden in like a middle class area. Uh, slightly like upper middle class or like just like I had a pretty normal childhood for like a Swedish person and um, I had like yeah I went to school like everyone else you know and after school I actually dropped out of school because school wasn't really for me and I think many people can relate that school is just not for everyone right personally I have ADHD which is something that makes it hard to focus and I really wanted to change my mindset so like, I had a normal like childhood in Sweden and uh, a normal job and everything and then uh, I, I found uh, I found this um, law of attraction we've been talking about it yes. before it's very cool it's um, this thing where if you change your mind your mindset you can attract things from 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 like into your life and um, so like I guess four years ago I just made a change I decided that I was gonna um, uh, be successful, I was going to be uh, happy and rich and all these things. It all starts with the decision, like to decide and I did and ever since that day like everything just changed, like everything, my whole life changed because I I, I decided that I was going to change my life and I think that's a very very important thing to like make the decision. That's so cool and we talked about Think and Grow Rich together by yeah. Napoleon Hill as a book that really guided you into this law of attraction you were mentioning and on top of the decision there's something that you do really well Carl is you have very specific goals right that you set. Were there any other habits or any things that you really learned in terms of life lessons from that book from the law of attraction that really thought okay this habit really 
really brought me to the Carl on the Moon level that I'm at today? Yeah, so I think the most important thing is to um, put down goals. You have to write down your goals and keep your goals in your mind and make sure that you actually have intention to reach the goals. If you just write it down and leave it, like it's not going to work. You have to like write it down and really believe that this is the goal that you're going after and believe that it's possible. Because if you believe that it's possible, then it is actually possible. Most people, they think that um, making a million dollars is not for them. They think it's something that only happens to lucky people. But if you think like this, then yeah, it's going to be very hard. It's going to be impossible. So unlock your mind to the fact that everything is possible. Have clear goals. And then visualizing is very important. All successful people, all billionaires, uh, athletes and famous musicians, many of them, most of them, they always say that they are visualizing their goals. They keep a very clear, vivid image of what they want in their mind. And, uh, and this will help uh, to attract more of this into your life. And this is what I did. I was sitting in a grocery store, working in a grocery store, um, just like two, three years ago, like, yeah, sometimes it's three years ago. And I just visualized and I, I vividly saw this lifestyle in my mind. And now just a few years later, it's all coming true. Um, very, very quickly, very easily. So I think that you should not underestimate the power of the mind and kind of letting the universe around you work for you and help you with these uh, strategies. So beautifully put. And by the way, Carl, you know I visualized meeting you. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Before creating this show, Crypto Nights, I visualized meeting you, Ivan, every single person I saw in that dream of creating this show to educate the, the community. Every, I met everyone ever since. Randomly, we met in Davos. It was really weird. And it, so that's incredible. So the, that grocery store story is really, really cool. So I just want to summarize it because it's really critical what you said. You wrote down your goals. You sat down, you visualize it. Was it quite often? You you actually sit down and close your eyes and just every day. picture every day. Yeah, yeah, it's very important, every day. Really? Do you still do it now or now that you're happy in life? Or um, I, In the beginning, I did it every day. And then I had like a period of time where I didn't do it so much because I had already achieved tremendous success. But then I realized that if I can reach those success levels, then imagine what else is possible. So now my, my goals are high enough to make people think I'm crazy, but I know it's possible and I know that I will reach them. So I am back to visualizing every single day and um, I know that I will reach my goals because I, I have the intention to reach them. And you're so good at, we talked about this earlier, but you're so good at setting goals. You know, even like, you know, let's guys, let's get this, you know, 2000 likes by the end of this video. So what is your ultimate goal now, right? Because you've achieved a uh, large success in crypto. Your YouTube channel is one of the most viewed channels on the planet. You know what I mean? Like, what is, what do you want to achieve now? Is it more about you? Is it more about the family? Or what are your dreams from this point onwards? Well, right now, it's a lot about like my, my own well-being. I'm thinking a lot about health and a lot about just like being um, happy and being like, uh, um, like secure in myself, like all these things. Because in the beginning, I didn't visualize that so much. It was more about the money, 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 money. Yeah. And now that I already achieved the money, um, I, I'm focusing much more on these other things. Could be like network and like friends and these things. There's a lot of that in my mind right now, uh, more so than, than um, success and money. But I still have su success and money in my mind. It's just that I'm prioritizing differently now that I already have success and money. Fantastic. And you also told me about one thing about, you know, passing on wealth down generations. Can you tell us a little, when we were having lunch the other day, that was yeah. really, really interesting. And I had a bit of, I had some goosebumps. I'm like, oh man, that is a really cool goal to have. Can you tell me tell us a little bit more yeah, about that? Yeah, I guess it's just like, I, I believe that in crypto it's possible to make money easier than any other business or, or um, niche we've ever seen before. I mean, it's kind of like the, the dot com, yeah. but this is even bigger, even much bigger. bigger because it's so global and, and so widespread or like the potential, right? So um, I think that we have the potential to, to make this uh, huge generational wealth kind of thing where we can definitely just <laughs> provide for generations to come in our family. I think that's an interesting thing. Like uh, I, I want to be able to provide for my family and like uh, all my close people and I mean, I guess I can already do it, but um, I think um, I think it's very, very interesting that we have this opportunity now to 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 build a business in this niche that is going to go 10x and be 100x. 
And uh, that's why I'm positioning myself now as already successful when it's small. Imagine when crypto grows 100x. My business will also grow 100x simply because the crypto space is going 100x. So um, it's a very cool opportunity. I'm happy to be here. It's, it's great timing. It's a great opportunity, as you mentioned. Have you noticed your channel growing with the second bull market, with which happened? Yeah, or for sure. Do you yeah, see those numbers reflecting? Yeah, I went from like 30,000 views per video to like maybe 50, 60,000 now per video. And um, if the price continues to go higher now in the next few months, then I, I think the views will go up. And when Bitcoin goes to like a million dollars, then imagine how many people will flow into my YouTube channel. That's going to be massive, insane, yeah. man. Yeah. Already, like some of the lessons I've learned with you in the previous interview, by the way, guys, don't forget to watch the previous interview. It's absolutely amazing. And you were talking about Bitcoin being the most, the having absolute scarcity. And you're the first one that I heard use those words, absolute scarcity, uh, and the, the best store of wealth in the history of mankind. Those are some of the, the highlights, right? Yeah. But how, how like, how persuaded are you? Already back then you were 100%, but how are you now with the evolution of Bitcoin? Are you just even more sure? Or how's your feelings these days about Bitcoin and where it's about to go? Uh, I think I'm just as confident back then, uh, or now as I was back then. I think that um, nothing has changed. I mean, Bitcoin, the fundamentals of Bitcoin are the exact same. And that's the whole point of Bitcoin. The fundamentals don't change. They are written down in, in stone, so to speak. It's like, you cannot change it. So. When we make another interview 50 years from now, I will say the same. I will say the exact same. So yeah, Bitcoin is absolutely scarce. And um, ever since the last time we spoke back in Davos, we've seen money printing like never before. And this has, of course, led people to um, lose confidence in the monetary system. And Bitcoin is the best alternative to the current system. So that's why we're seeing people jump into Bitcoin. People are even dumping gold to go into Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the new thing. And I mean, gold has, has been uh, around for thousands of years, but now when we have this digital world, we need Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the digital money. And, uh, and I think that it's obvious that institutions are now realizing this because they are jumping in one after one, just pouring in these billions and billions of dollars. And um, I'm confident we're gonna go above the gold market cap very, very soon. And um, Bitcoin deserves it. Bitcoin is the best form of money in the world. That's amazing. And you know, really like, I remember you, you being like so, so, you know, 100% sure that Bitcoin is the future. And a lot of the crazy things happen. You, I remember you telling also that the halving is one of the most important events in 2020. Uh, and you also said that it's not gonna react as people would expect, but it will eventually come later. Um, do you think that in 2020 as well, like Michael Saylor or some of these corporate treasuries was one of the biggest bullish points for factors for Bitcoin? Or were there other factors where you thought, whoa, that is bullish right there? Well, the halving was maybe the biggest thing because a supply shock like this definitely drives uh, the price up because of obvious reasons. The, the, the newly created supply gets cut in half. So as long as the demand continues to go up, which it has been, the people have to fight over less Bitcoin that, that gets created, right? So every halving, that's why we see these huge price swings. Very, very interesting. And uh, institutions, they have realized this. That's why they're jumping in. And I think that um, institutions are an interesting thing because they are kind of giving crypto a more legitimized, uh, like a legit um, stamp of approval because um, institutions are the smart money, right? And um, that's why we see this domino effect of more institutions coming in because if one does it, then the other one pays attention and then the third one wants to go in. It's like a big <laughs> domino effect. Once the big one goes in, then that's, like you that's said, a stamp of approval, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Tudor Jones and all these. Yeah, yeah, and imagine when we see even bigger companies. I mean, we already saw PayPal, but imagine Google, Facebook, Amazon also coming out and like adopting crypto and Bitcoin in like a big way. Um, we're seeing it very soon, I'm sure. And uh, it's very cool that we're here before this happens because we are the people who will be able to actually benefit most from this uh, this price swing that is coming. You know, one thing I noticed in your videos, Carl, is when there's a massive correction, you are so cool, man. You're cool as a cucumber, as we say. You don't seem worried at all. You don't even flinch. Yeah. Uh, in, in the dark times, you know, where people obviously, because of fear, they tend to doubt Bitcoin or anything like that. Like, are there any things that you tell yourself to reassure yourself or, or how do you react in these type of, type yeah, of situations? Yeah, I'm not, I'm never um, afraid of the price of Bitcoin because 
I know the fundamentals, I know what Bitcoin is, I know what I'm getting myself into. So even back in the Corona dump, when Bitcoin broke down, I lost like 60% of my net worth in like three days, but I didn't lose it, right? Because it's, um, it's uh, I knew that Bitcoin was gonna be right back very, very soon. So uh, as long as you know what you're buying, you shouldn't care about the price because if you're using emotions when buying or like investing or trading, then you will lose. You have to cut away emotions. So that's why I always tell people to do your research before you buy something, whether it's Bitcoin or Facebook stock or whatever, like you need to know what you're buying. Only then can you be strong enough to hold when it goes down. So I, I, ne I don't care if it goes down. I'm happy if it goes down because I can make more Bitcoin. Mm, that's amazing, man, that's amazing. So you said you talked about corporate treasury. Is the next step government treasury to really get that stamp of approval or we don't need any more stamps of approval? It's, it's already a done deal. I think Bitcoin is like this thing where it's already over. Bitcoin is already out. It's already there. There's no, nothing anyone can do to stop it. And it's already gaining so much traction that anyone who looks at it right now just has to realize that this is here to stay. So I don't think we need much more, more in terms of like a stamp of approvals. I think um, uh, Bitcoin has proven itself every year for 12 years straight and it will continue to do so. All right, guys, so there we had it. Part one with Carl the Moon. Not just talking about crypto, but talking about success, talking about lessons learned, talking about sustainable habits that helped him reach such level of success. So guys, don't forget to watch part two, which is coming really soon at a PC near you.